Welcome to the Galveston College Library video on how to search Whitecaps OneSearch. Whitecaps OneSearch is your starting point for finding books, articles, and other resources for your assignment. To begin, we'll start at the library homepage and look for the big yellow search box labeled Whitecaps OneSearch. There are tabs at the top to search for specific types of resources, like books or articles, but for now, let's search everything all at once. And if you're prompted to log in at any time, just use your Whitecaps email and password. Always be sure to review your assignment for specific details. Your assignment may come with certain guidelines and objectives you need to address. Understanding these will help you target your research to find the most relevant information, making your work more focused and efficient. Let's try searching for climate change. You'll see millions of results. The results featured at the top include a suggested journal and a research starter, which are a great place to begin to get a general overview of your topic. The research starter even has a bibliography that could be a valuable resource for your own research. Now, one of the keys to successful searching is using the filters to narrow down your results. To narrow down your search, use the All Filters option. When searching for articles, I recommend selecting print and online to include both physical and digital resources, choosing full text to access the complete article or book, and opting for scholarly and peer-reviewed articles for credible information from experts. You can also adjust the publication date range if you're looking for more current research. Content provider is another word for database. If your assignment asks you for a source from a specific database, you can look for the name of it here. If you're looking for an article, you can select the source type here and check academic journals to ensure that your articles are scholarly and peer reviewed, which means written and reviewed by experts. You can filter by subject, which may help you discover new, more specific research areas to streamline your topic. To find a print or physical book in the library, go to the left side of your screen on the dashboard and select Search Library Catalog. This will display results limited to books available in the library. Also on the left, under Research Tools, you can start a brand new search, search for specific publications, and the concept map option provides a visually engaging representation of various topics and it's interactive, making it a great tool for those who prefer to see information visually. Selecting more library resources gives you the option to search for academic videos. There is a link to our help and research guides specific to your classes, a database called Learning Express, which can help you with tests and exploring career options, a link to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, and a link to the New York Times newspaper. Have you ever heard of Boolean operators? These are simple words that can be used to combine or exclude keywords in a search. The words and, or, and not can make our searches more efficient. And narrows your search by making sure all the keywords appear in the results. Let's say we wanted to research how climate change affects indigenous communities. If I search climate change and indigenous, it will only show articles that include both terms. Or broadens your search by allowing any of the keywords to appear. This is good for synonyms or terms that are related with similar meanings. Searching climate change or global warming will give you results with either term. Not excludes certain terms from your search. Let's say we wanted to read about other countries' perspectives and experiences on climate change. For instance, climate change not United States will remove any articles that mention the United States. Another handy feature is creating a My EBSCO account. This allows you to save research to different folders so you can stay organized and access your saved materials easily. Use a personal email, not your Whitecaps email, so you can access your research even if you transfer schools. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up your My EBSCO account, we do have another library short video to help. I hope this video has helped you feel more confident in using the Whitecaps OneSearch. Now I encourage you to dive in and give it a try for yourself. The next video in this series will cover key aspects of the article and citation.
Thanks for watching and good luck with your research.